How many, of you, how many of you have ever said, talk is cheap, actions are what matter? It's the age old saying, to walk the walk after you've talked the talk. So how many of you are tired of hearing and saying this phrase? Good, because I'm gonna talk about volunteerism. First, I'll speak on the social, second, on the environmental, third, on the economical, and lastly, how you can get involved. To start off, the, the social aspects are pretty apparent. Volunteers come from all different backgrounds. People choose to spend their time in the service of others. Not only are you doing positive work for a particular entity, but volunteering creates a social network that may help you in times of stress. In the same way, you might be the helping hand in, in those hard times. This can be help by just having a warm smile or sitting in a, in a kennel with a lonely dog. So volunteerism has numerous benefits from the, uh, from the individual advantages to the greater impact as, uh, on their community. From these tiny seeds grows a society dedicated to the greater good of all man. When the individual spends his time in service of others, it feeds that need for, su for su significance and belonging. It in part, uh, it in part, it is part of mankind to find the reason he walks the earth. We've all said at one point or another, why am I here? Volunteerism can be the, an exploration into answering that question. So finding things that we're passionate about brings people, like-minded people, closer together, thus creating a sense of belonging we crave because man is a social creature. An example of this is Operation Smile, an organization which sends volunteer medical teams abroad, serving over 270,000 people, changing their lives forever. For another example, as a Boy Scout, I learned to love the environment and the value of protecting it. Now I'm part of SAFE, the Student Association for the Environment. Our organization spends our time volunteering on restoration projects or educating the community about the environmental impacts and pollution. So as you can see, the social aspects are fairly straightforward. But what about the environment? Unless you are volunteering for the Sierra Club, you may not think that you're actually bettering the environment. This would only be true if you were looking strictly through an ecological lens. What it comes to, down to is an environment is the living and non-living things in an area. So various groups uh, in the community look at the problems and find, find the solutions. For example, there are groups like Habitat for Humanity who spend their time fixing up homes at, for the elderly or the impoverished. So fixing a door or a drafty window or painting or installing smoke detectors has a tremendous impact on where those people live. These small, small fixes create a safe and more efficient environment for those served. So if you talk about nature though, we're restoring what humans have taken advantage of for many generations. We volunteer for activist groups who plant trees or clean up parks and rivers, like SAFE. Volunteers, we also volunteer for political campaigns who we think that will bring about policy changes. Now to the interesting part about the economics about this. Volunteerism has been a part, an important aspect of the global economy for many, many years. During the Great Depression, approximately 30 million family members were fed by volunteers at churches and at soup kitchens, according to encyclopedia.com. Even today, volunteers are a tremendous resources, resource in charitable nonprofits. Many, uh, according to councilofnonprofits.org, many charitable nonprofits would not exist without, uh, uh, without their help. 
they wouldn't be able to conduct programs, raise funds, or serve their clients. So, what can you do? Find something that you're passionate about. You may not have time or the money to spend traveling all over the world helping people in Africa. But there are things out there. It can seem as simple as volunteering to recycle your waste. We volunteer to recycle a can or a water bottle rather than to throw it in the landfill. Make those choices every day. Sometimes without even realizing the impact of that, of that decision. So time and talent are utilized every day to make the world a better place, to pass on to future generations. So ask yourself, what is the gift that I have been given that I can share with this, the world? Find a group to volunteer for. And if you can't find one that you like or that you're passionate about, create one. So let's stop talking about it and volunteer. Thank you.